Hello and welcome to English for a Better World. Today we will be looking at childhood versus adulthood. Which one do you think is more fun, childhood or adulthood? And what do you think happens to children as they grow up? So these are some of the questions we will be exploring in these deep and fun lesson. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Lesson seven, I used to have lots of fun when I was a child. Well, I still do have fun, sometimes, just like every adult. Anyway, um, our theme today is what's childhood like and what's adulthood like. You will be describing childhood and adulthood. The grammar is used to and comparison, a very useful grammar, a very useful grammar lesson. And finally, we will have a listening, listening where we will look at children versus adults. Well, before we get into the lesson, let's first look at this picture. Describe it. Describe the picture. What do you see in it? What do you think is happening in this picture? You have, obviously, you have a child and you have parents, a mother and father. And the father is holding scissors and clipping off wings on the back of the child. Well, and it's also interesting to consider who is holding the scissors. Who is clipping off the wings on the back of the child? It's the father. Why do you think it's that? And what about the mother? What is she doing there? So share with us your description about this picture in the comment section below. Warm up, what comes to mind when you think of childhood and what comes to mind when you think of adulthood? Well, obviously, if you look at the pictures, they tell the whole story, all right? So let's look at the first one, innocent, obviously. We tend to think of children as innocent. But look at this picture, the contrast, lost innocence. Well, if you don't know, this is Black Friday. Now, let's move on to the next one. Creative. Obviously, children are more creative. Look at what happens to that creativity when we get into school. And I think you already know that picture is familiar. And that look is also familiar to you. The next picture tells us that children are curious. They want to explore, find out more about the world around them. On the other hand, adults are nosy, right? They poke their nose into other people's business. They want to know what's going on with your life. They compare their life with yours. Critical. Children are also critical, whereas adults are not. They are uncritical. Children ask a lot of why questions. They seem to question everything. And now let's look at this popular meme. Don't grow up, it's a trap. What makes it a trap? Why is growing up a trap? Why do adults think that it's better to be a child? Just like the last picture, I just want my childhood back. What's special about childhood? And what happens to children when they grow up? Joe, what was your childhood like? When I was a child, I used to go swimming and fishing in the River Nile. I have fun memories of fun games. We used to play bride and groom. We would change partners without any jealousy. Ahmed, what was your childhood like? I spent most of my wonderful childhood outdoors. I used to run around and play lots of football. I have fun memories of playing football with boys. Like most children, I used to be naughty. What about you? Were you naughty as a child? And Jimmy, what was your childhood like? My childhood was not really happy. We were very poor and we did not always have enough food. But I have nice memories of people helping us. I used to be a shy kid, but not anymore. And David, tell us about your childhood. I used to stay indoors a lot and play video games with friends. I guess we missed out on outdoors games, but we had fun. I wasn't an easygoing person, but now I make friends easily and hang out more. 
Well, so now tell us about your childhood. Share your childhood memories with us in the comment section below, okay? So now let's look at what's going on in these pictures. Well, the first picture shows children having lots of fun, playful, right? Sharing. And the third picture is interesting because it tells us that children are actually not class conscious. They're not race conscious. They are just children. Now, compare the three pictures of these lovely children with the adults. What do you think is happening? Well, look at the pictures carefully. The adults. And I don't have to tell you what's going on here. I think it's obvious, right? Pause the video and tell us in the comment section below what you like about childhood and what you like about adulthood. Well, now we have a dialogue between Carl and Nas. All right. So look at the pictures again. We have mischievous, exploring, cheerful, and reading. And of course, we also have phrases in the box. So you need to fill in the blanks with the right phrase from the box. Pause the video. What were you like as a child? I used to be very lively and cheerful. What about you? My parents say I was a mischievous boy. What did you do? I used to play funny tricks on people. Were you naughty? I was very naughty and I like to think that I'm still naughty. What hobbies did you have? I used to play a lot of sports and I also loved reading short stories. I still do both, but not as much as before. I grew up in a small village and I used to spend lots of time playing outdoors. I also enjoyed exploring the world around me. Unfortunately, most adults have lost their natural curiosity. I know what you mean. Would you like to be a child again? I think in some ways I'm still a child. I, I can't understand why we can't continue to be children as we grow up. It's more fun. I know being an adult can be boring. When I was a child, I wanted to grow up. Now that I'm a grown up, I want my childhood back. All right, our first grammar focus today is used to. Used to expresses an action that we did regularly in the past, but not anymore. So let's look at the three forms. Positive, I used to play a lot. Negative, I did not used to play a lot. Question, did you used to play a lot? He used to be nice, he didn't used to be nice. Did he used to be nice? They used to read, they didn't used to read, did they used to read? And of course, look at these lovely pictures. Pictures of lovely kids, adorable, aren't they? Let's practice, check the correct answer. So pause the video and do this exercise. Well, now let's move on to comparison comparing and contrasting childhood and adulthood so now we have a dialogue to do that between Sadiq and Dino so fill in the blanks with the right phrase from the box and the phrases are become less creative critical as they are more natural they get older right and look at the pictures also full of life obviously children fitting in pretending and question everything and by the way this is actually my motto question everything well pause the video and fill in the blanks with the right phrase from the box would you rather be around kids or adults definitely kids because i see more life in them than in adults they remind me of what life was like when i was younger more fun I feel the same way. It's fun to be around kids because they are more natural than adults. I often wonder what happens to kids as they get older. They learn to pretend to be someone they are not. Why is that? To fit in. I read somewhere that kids become less creative as they get older. They also become less critical and stop asking why questions. When I look at my niece, I feel a bit sad because I don't know what to do to help her remain as natural, creative, and critical as she is now. I know what you mean. It's really hard to believe that every adult was once a lovely and adorable child. Something needs fixing, and it's not children. Children versus adults are listening. And of course, we have four pictures. 
pure joy. Children are actually expression of pure joy. Here now, and it means living in the moment. And of course, the opposite is there and then. Right attitude. And the last one is sick society. So to find out about the differences between children and adults, listen to the recording and answer the questions. Most children bring out the best in us and most adults bring out the worst in us. So what is it about children that makes them different from adults? And what happens to children as they grow older? Expression of pure joy. When we see a child, we see what it means to enjoy life to the fullest. As a natural expression of life, children are full of it, and so they are a constant reminder of what adults have lost. Here and now. Children live in the moment, but adults are always thinking about tomorrow. For children, the future does not exist, and all that matters is what's happening around them right now. Adults are full of worries because they are trying to live according to society's idea of a good life. So they keep putting off living until tomorrow when they think everything will be okay. Right attitude to life. Children don't care about money, social class, religion, gender, and race because they still don't know what they mean. But adults care a lot about such things. There is no reason why adults can be like children except that growing up in a sick society often costs us our innocence, imagination, creativity, curiosity, and joy. Now, let's look at how we compare. We have two types of adjective. One syllable adjective and more than one syllable. So, let's look at how we compare both of them. Let's look at adjective, as, as. I am as big as my friend. I am as old as my friend. I am as young as my friend. Now, when we compare in two things, comparative, bigger than, and we're still talking about one syllable adjective, older than, younger than. And superlative, when we are comparing more than two things, the biggest, the oldest, the youngest, and again, one syllable adjective here okay so now let's look at more than one syllable interesting creative natural so this book is as interesting as that book right um, that child is as creative as his brother now comparative two things more interesting than more creative than more natural than okay and superlative more than two the most interesting the most interesting film i have ever seen the most creative child i have ever met the most natural person i have ever met as well so let's look at some examples she is as nice as her friend that is adjective comparative she's nicer than her friend superlative she is the nicest person I have ever seen. So this is one syllable adjective. Now let's look at more than one syllable adjective. He's as imaginative as his mother. He's more imaginative than his mother. He is the most imaginative person in the world. Well, I hope this is clear. And to learn it better, let's practice, all right? So complete these sentences. Use the correct form of comparison. Just remember, that we have one syllable adjective and more than one syllable adjective. Pause the video and do the exercise. Well, that's the end of our lesson. And if you are a child, don't grow up. It's a trap. But if you are an adult already, well, do your best to keep the child in you alive, if possible and enjoy living. See you next week with another exciting lesson.